happy you all are here on our channel you should see the videos in their hall and comment at the ending of every one of them the description contains more films that we have available we also welcome you to subscribe to the channel the kinder kranken house often known as the children's hospital is a well-liked destination for photographers and explorers due to its convenient position relative to people living in the metropolitan areas of berlin however it also attracts vandals homeless individuals looking for sanctuary and street artists who are looking for a place to work those individuals who are courageous enough to enter this abandoned complex have a greater reason to be afraid of the building's foundations than they have of the people who are within. From the moment one enters the children's hospital's perimeter gate, the whole grounds are free to exploration, and the buildings themselves are also available to exploration. The condition of some is far worse than that of others, and the flooring of the top levels and stairs that are disintegrating should be navigated with extreme care. It wasn't until 1911 that the Wysensee Children's Hospital opened its doors for the first time, although the planning for the pediatric hospital had already began many years earlier. The development of the medical facility was considered essential in light of the recent rise in the death rates of children under the age of five. This children's hospital was a large building that had technology that was considered to be top of the art at the specific time. It was comprised of a park that was located in the vicinity, a number of huge buildings that were used to house patients, and even its very own dairy farm. Despite the fact that the building was financially successful and even underwent expansion in the late 1980s, it would eventually be shut down in the year 1997. From this point forward, the hospital complex was abandoned to be reclaimed by nature via the process of gradual deterioration. However, despite the fact that the abandoned hospital was included on a registry of historic monuments, it was eventually sold to a Russian investor who retained ownership of the facility, but did not make any attempt to restore it. Beginning with the new proprietors of the building, a dispute started to surround them. This included claims that it could cure cancer and AIDS, in addition to being tied to a wide variety of other questionable economic endeavors. In a short amount of time, the hospital was taken away from the control of this immoral corporate investor, and its future remains uncertain. This landmark is not marketed as an official attraction within the city of Berlin, despite the fact that it is an unofficial attraction within the district. Mostly, this is because to the many safety issues and the fact that it is privately owned. Visitors to the Kinderkrankenhaus Weissensee have the opportunity to take in a piece of Berlin's history that is in the process of deteriorating, in addition to a variety of elaborate and well-made works of street art. It is a piece of history that is genuinely one of a kind and gorgeous in a manner that is a little bit sinister. Going to the location in a group and during the daytime hours. In addition, when you are investigating the inside of the building, you should be aware of the decaying structure. In spite of the fact that the land is enclosed by a sturdy metal fence, there are apertures inside the fence that enable access to the property.